I was traveling back from Minnesota yesterday and I posted a picture of me in an airport. And for some odd reason, when I'm in an airport and I get hungry, I don't like going to those, I don't like getting those big burgers and stuff. But there's some airports out there that have some really good places where you can get some sushi. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, a $9 California roll is not that expensive, but I do that because I love some of the comments where people say things. Like one guy said, I see you're spending all that money from the Michael Moore video. I wish I would have got paid for that Michael Moore video. You can guarantee that. I didn't get a dime for that. And I had no problems going and speaking to Michael Moore to basically lay out the facts. So once again, it just amazes me how some of the garbage that people want to throw. And they want to throw it at me. And I got strong shoulders. I can, I can take it. Make no mistake about it. But it don't mean I got to take it lying down. You can throw stones at me. You can call me all you want. I'm okay with that. It's, it's fine. But make no mistake, every once in a while, I'm going to say something back to you. And if you don't like it, tough. How about that? So, you know, but once again, I, I purposely do that every once in a while just to hear the garbage. You know, one guy said, oh, it's uh, uh, eating pretty fancy for somebody who doesn't have a job. Well, Richard Ojeda does have a job. Besides the fact that I'm retired military, I also happen to be hired by a group called the Future Majority. And it's a phenomenal organization. We're working on a thing called the Veterans Bill of Rights. And it is a wonderful organization that I'm very proud to work for. And they pay me and they pay me well. So, you know, don't hate on Richard Ojeda because Richard Ojeda has the capacity and the capability to do certain things. And one of the things that I really like the ability to do is if I want to go someplace, I can go someplace. Okay? I'm, I'm never going to live under a bridge. So for those of you people out there that want to scream and try to act like Richard Ojeda is beating this. Let me tell you something. Everything that I have, I can back it up as to why I have it. Fact. Fact. Most people want to throw the military thing and the disability piece. I'm physically fit. I'm as strong as a daggone ox. That's a fact. But make no mistake about it. Until you understand the military VA system and how they rate and evaluate veterans, anybody who retires from the military, anybody who retires from the military with, that spent over 20 years, you will pretty much almost every one of them will end up retiring with at least a 60% rating. It is what it is. You beat your body to death while you serve in the military. Most of these people out here that most of these veterans out here that, that you don't realize, most of them have between 70 and 100% disability, even though they can work because that's how the military does it. The military evaluates it and rates you by the injuries and the things that you have sustained over the time you were in the military. If you broke a toe when you was a private, when you get out of the military, they're going to give you 10% for that broken toe. That's how it is. Don't hate the veteran. You can hate the system all you want, but do not hate the veteran. That's just the way that it is. So I wanted to say that because it just drives me crazy how many people want to come on here and throw stones. If you can't afford a $9 California roll, then you've made some shitty decisions in your life. That's not Richard Ojeda's fault. That's some, that's some, you took the wrong damn turn at that fork in the road. That's just the way that it is. So understand that. And once again, also understand that it does not bother me that you hate me. That's a fact. I don't care. You can hate me all you want. Put your hands on me. That's another story.